When you and I call upon God in the midst of desperation and pain in our life and lack in our life, there's some things that we need to remember, that when you go to God with pain and need and problems in your life, there are some things you need to recognize when you bring those needs to Him. And I gave these four things to you on your notes. I'm going to ask you to read each of them together with me because I want to underscore them as we speak them and hear them together. The first thing that we need to remember, read with me, that God already what? He already knows your needs. It's great to realize that God, when I'm coming to God, I've got some lack in my life. I don't need to come to God to inform him of my lack. God already knows my lack. God knows everything in your life right now. He knows the problems you're facing. He knows the lack that you're experiencing. God already knows everything about you. Matthew 10, 29 through 31, are not two sparrows, Jesus said this, are not two sparrows sold for a penny, yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of your Father. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered, so don't be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. Jesus said you gotta realize how intimately God knows you. God knows you so intimately that every hair on your head has a number. For some of you, God adjusted his arithmetic this morning, okay? Okay. For some, he added. For some, he subtracted, okay? Some of you are getting close to zero, okay? But God knows every... If he knows us that intimately, he knows the need in your life right now. God's not ignorant of your need. Second thing, read with me. God cares. Circle that word. God cares deeply about your needs. See, it's one thing to know something about somebody that's a painful thing to know about them. It's another thing to really care. I've had people before that I shared a problem with, they didn't care. How do I know they didn't care? Because as soon as I finished telling them my problem, they went into their problems, okay? Well, you think yours is bad? Let me tell you mine. Okay. You've been there, right? But when we come to God, God is the ultimate, supreme God of the universe. He does not have any needs, okay? Okay. And so when you and I come to God, he knows our needs, but he also cares deeply about our needs. Matthew 6, 30, Jesus again made this statement. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? He's reminding us that he cares about the smallest details in our life. Then we need to remember third thing, read together. God invites you to what? Bring your needs to him. So when you and I are connecting to God about a need in our life, we realize God knows already, so I don't need to really inform him of my need. He knows what's going on. He really cares about what's going on in my life. And now I just simply need to to come to him and bring those needs because he's invited me to tell him what's going on with me. A lot of folks have a challenge with this. They think, you know, God doesn't really, he's, he's got a lot of things going on. Certainly he doesn't care. He doesn't want me to bring everything to him. He doesn't want me talking. It's such a seemingly small problem. But God wants you to to bring every need to him. He's invited you to do so. There's an open invitation to come to him anytime you have need of him and consistently with your life. 